here uh, we are trying to discuss the problems of weight in the area of electromagnetics and uh, especially uh, dealing with the area of waveguide propagation. <coughs> there have been three problems which have come so far uh, related to the phase velocity and group velocity on these waveguides. These problems are indicated here and towards the end I will give a common solution to all these problems. The problem, first problem is on gate 2002 and this problem is, is stated as the phase velocity for T10 more in an air filled rectangular waveguide is, is there are four options. Number option A is less than C, equal to C, greater than C, and the last option is none of the above. Then the another problem which has appeared in gate 2004, again in electromagnetics area, states as the phase velocity of an EM wave propagating in a hollow metallic rectangular waveguide in the T10 mode is number A. The first option is A equal to its uh, group velocity, B less than velocity of light in free space and equal to velocity of light in free space and the fourth option is the uh, D option that says it's uh, greater than the velocity of light. Now, we'll see another problem which has appeared in the gate 2012 examination. What it says that the magnetic field along the propagate, propagation, propagation direction inside a rectangle waveguide with cross section shown in figure here, the magnetic field HZ is given 3 cos 2.094 into 10 square x, cos of 2.618 10 square y, cos of 6.83 10 power 10 t minus beta z. This magnetic field component is given here. The phase velocity of the wave inside the waveguide satisfies. Vp is greater than c, Vp equals to c, Vp is less than c, greater than 0 and Vp equal to 0. All these problems are basically the problems dealing with the phase velocity inside a hollow, uh, I would say, hollow structure having any cross-section like maybe cylindrical, rectangular and so on. But these three problems which appeared here, they are all based on the uh, propagation of T10 mode in the rectangular waveguide. Like see the problem in gate 2012. Here the field HZ is given. That means it's a transverse electric mode. That means the mode is TE. Because of TE mode This HZ component is, component is indicated here. That means we are dealing with a TE mode here. So all three problems are dealing with the rectangular waveguide in TE mode. The data for this 2012, like uh, dimension of the waveguide, 1.2 centimeter, a narrow dimension, 3.0 centimeter, the wide dimension, they are all not really required to solve the problem. So we have to see here that phase velocity of the wave inside the waveguide satisfies Vp greater than C, Vp equal to C or Vp less than C. So what we observe here is that in any structure 
having only one conductor and having the mode of propagation non tm always have its phase velocity inside that structure greater than the velocity of light that is true for all so all these problems it is the uh, right choice is that the velocity of propagation or phase velocity that not propagate but that the phase velocity is greater than the velocity of propagation in free space like c the velocity of light we call it so the right option for all these problems is the phase velocity is greater than c the velocity of 